Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to cut and sew the bolero jacket pattern pieces which I drafted in a previous tutorial on my African print fabric. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. The bolero jacket pattern pieces which I drafted in a previous tutorial. The link for this will be above and in the description box below. A matching thread about two years of African print fabric tape measure a pair of scissors fabric marker pins and some interfacing so these are the three pattern pieces needed to make the bolero jacket I will go ahead and cut these pieces out on my African print fabric before cutting out the pattern on my fabric, I quickly want to draw your attention to, be, to the upper part of the front bolero pattern. So the angle here is too steep, I discovered this while sewing the jacket, so I would advise that you should trim off about half an inch from the upper part of the front bolero pattern, like this. You should do this before cutting it out on your fabric. So now I've gone ahead to cut out all the pattern pieces on my fabric as you can see. This is the sleeve. I used half an inch seam allowance at the upper part, one inch at the side and one inch at the end of the sleeve. So I'll go ahead to notch the middle of the sleeve at the upper part like this. I will also notch the front of the sleeve and the back of the sleeve so as to identify them. I cut two pieces for the sleeve and what I'm doing now is just marking the wrong side of the sleeve pattern pieces as the wrong and the right sides are identical on this African print fabric. This is the back of the bolero jacket. I use half an inch seam allowance at the neckline, shoulders and arm hole and also at the center back and one inch for the side seam allowance and half an inch at the end of the jacket. So I cut four pieces and this is because I will also line the jacket with the same outer fabric. I will advise that you also do the same because the inner part of the jacket may be visible when the jacket is worn. This is the front. I used half an inch seam allowance all through except for the side seams where I used one inch side seam allowance. I also cut four pieces of this and I've already interfaced the row collar area of the front lining pieces. I only interface the two pieces that I intend to use for the lining of the jacket. I will also mark the wrong side like this. So now I have already spread out all the pieces in there to make this jacket on my table. These are the back pieces. These are the sleeve pieces and these are the front pieces. For the back pieces, I will join the center back together on my sewing machine using half an inch sewing allowance but first I will pin in place like this for the front I will stick together the center back same lines of the row collar using half an inch sewing allowance but first, I will also pin in place before taking it to my sewing machine to stitch in place. So I'll go ahead to do that now. So now that has been done, I've joined the back pieces together at the center back and I've pressed the same allowances open, as you can see. 
For the front, I've also joined together the center back seam lines of the row collar. I will now place the front piece on top of the back piece like this. Right sides will be together. I will make sure that the center back seam lines of the back piece and the roll collar align with each other and I will pin in place like this. Then I will go ahead to pin the front and the back shoulder lines and the neckline together like this. The row collar extension will be pinned to the back neckline. I will now take it to my sewing machine and stitch using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the front and back lining pieces as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I knock these corners where the shoulder meet the neckline so that the sharp angle can relax and lie flat. I did the same thing for this other piece as well. I'll do now is to stitch the side seams together for both the main fabric and the lining pieces using one inch sewing allowance. So now I've joined the side seams together for both the lining and the exterior pieces and I've placed the same allowances open. I will now place the lining piece on top of the exterior piece like this. Right sides will be together. I will pin in place making sure that the center back seam lines of the row collar match up. I will pin all around the outer edge of the fabric like this. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've already turned the jacket to the right side. I understick this side to the lining of the jacket but I did not understick the roll collar area. So now, just like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it was at this point that I realized that the angle at the upper part is too sharp. So I stick the excess on the wrong side of the jacket, but I will advise that you trim off on your pattern, you trim off the excess on your pattern before cutting it out on your fabric like this. So 
So these are the two sleeve pieces which I've already aimed and joined the side seams together. I will now go ahead to fix the sleeves to the armhole of the jacket. I will use half an inch seam allowance for the stitching. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I'll fix the sleeve to the armhole of the jacket. And this is the final look of the bolero jacket with a roll collar detail. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing. And do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.